This is the regular press conference by Minister Motegi Motegi. Mr. Minister Motegi. Every time at this press conference, we report to you about the Japanese nationals leaving countries where international flights were suspended and returning to Japan. Up until now, roughly 10,000 people have left these countries where flights are suspended and have returned to Japan. In 27 countries, roughly 280 people continue to wish to leave such countries and return to Japan. Among these 280 persons, it is expected by the next by next week, roughly 200 persons will be able to leave such countries and will be able to return to Japan. Under my guidance and instructions, members of the Consul Affairs Bureau, various regional affairs bureau, and the members of diplomatic missions have united in order to offer meticulous support to those persons who face difficulties in leaving these countries and returning to Japan because of international flights are suspended. And as a result of such efforts, the number of Japanese nationals who have left such countries and have returned to Japan is expected to exceed roughly 10,000 by the end of this month. With regard to such efforts, up until now, in various press conferences at the opening, I have shared with you such uh, measures and our responses. But since a significant number of such persons have already returned to Japan, and the remaining numbers are, have been stabilized, so going forward, I would like to only share at this press conference when we see some significant moves on this front. So I will not report on this at each given press conference, but when there's a significant move, I would like to properly uh, share that information with you at the press conference going forward in order to ensure the safety of Japanese nationals and, uh, and to ensure their return. The Minister of Foreign Affairs will work as one and will continue to take a proper response in, in robust manner. For those of you who have questions, please raise your hands and please proceed to the stand microphones uh, and uh, state your affiliation and name before asking your questions. Anybody? Norisada Hokkaido, Shinbun. Yesterday, you had a telephone uh, consultations with uh, Russia during the conference in order to push ahead with uh, initiatives uh, between Russia and Japan. Working level uh, meetings uh, are to be held uh, soon, and uh, joint uh, activities uh, have been conducted. Uh, and uh, more uh, progress, uh, you, what kind of more uh, progress do you want to achieve this year? Yesterday, uh, with uh, Minister Rabgov, uh, since uh, February, our meeting in February in Munich, after the absence of three months, I had a phone conversation with Minister Rabgov, and I spent uh, a little over 45 minutes uh, yesterday on the phone with uh, Minister uh, Rabgov. Uh, I have had uh, uh, phone conversations with uh, close to 40 uh, foreign ministers of close to 40 countries, and I think uh, this is one of the meetings I had a longer time to spend, and I had a very good uh, discussion with him. There were two major points. Uh, one was on the new coronavirus infections. Uh, we exchange views on the current situation in both countries and uh, measures that we are taking. And uh, uh, the, uh, the simple test uh, kits is just one of the examples of uh, uh, bilateral cooperation. So we welcome these uh, mutual bilateral cooperations. Minister Ravlov uh, assessed highly uh, Japan's response to the epidemic. Uh, we also agreed uh, that it is extremely important to promote uh, concrete cooperation in response to the new coronavirus and uh, to continue close uh, cooperation. Other than uh, coronavirus, uh, in terms of our bilateral relations, uh, in order to firmly push ahead uh, our bilateral consultations and uh, cooperation, such as uh, peace treaty negotiations, uh, joint economic activities on the four northern islands and four island exchange program, which has had to, has had to be postponed, and uh, year of regional exchanges uh, that had to be uh, postponed. Uh, we agree to hold uh, working level consultations at an earliest possible timing because uh, for the past couple of months, uh, there, has, uh, there have been some delays. Uh, each uh, one of these uh, programs is uh, very important, so we have to push ahead with these uh, programs, and we have to uh, waste no time uh, for our preparations, and uh, we agree to hold the working level consultations at an earliest possible timing and uh, join economy activities and other programs as uh, uh, well, uh, sometime uh, in and after 
uh, next week, uh, comprehensive working group and uh, vice ministerial meetings uh, will be conducted to proceed with our discussions. As much as possible, our working level will have to spend time to firmly push ahead with our discussions so that uh, we can um, push, uh, make uh, further additional steps uh, that uh, was in agreement with Minister Ravlov. Next question, Sato-san, please. Thank you. Asahi Shimbun, Sato is my name. I'd like to ask about Russia myself. So on June 24th, the ceremony to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the victory over Nazi Germany will be held. And according to press reports in Russia, they're going to resend invitation to countries which they sent invitations in the past. At this, at this current time, if such invitation is rendered to Japan, are you going to be considering this matter in a forward-looking manner, in a positive manner? Well, I had the phone talks between myself and my counterpart between Japan and Russia yesterday. And uh, the major topics were, as I mentioned earlier, the response to novel coronavirus and also uh, the peace, uh, peace uh, treaty negotiations and economic activities. We talked about ways in which we can advance various aspects of our bilateral relations. So a lump, uh, so a line of the time was shared for these items. So I would like to refer from responding to any other issues. Next question, please. Watarai IWJ, thank you. Japan-China relations, I have this uh, question. Recently, NPC National People's Congress uh, was uh, decided upon decided on the national security law when it comes to situations in Hong Kong. Uh, it is as if uh, China is intending to annex Hong Kong, which has uh, aroused a lot of a concern in the global uh, community. Uh, Japan has been advocating freedom and democracy, and uh, with regards to the recent behavior by attitude by China. How do you plan to proceed with uh, our, our relations with China? Well, yesterday, late evening, I had a extraordinary press uh, conference, and uh, there was this decision which was adopted at the NPC. Um, we are seriously concerned that the NPC made a decision on Hong Kong in the midst of uh, strong concerns expressed uh, from the international community and the people of uh, Hong Kong, we are concerned about the situation in Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong is an extremely important partner for Japan, with which uh, Japan maintains close economic ties and people-to-people -people exchanges. It is the long-standing policy of Japan to attach a great importance to upholding a free and open system, which uh, Hong Kong has been enjoying, and uh, the democratic and stable development of Hong Kong under the one country, two systems uh, framework. Uh, Japan has conveyed such views to China. Uh, this is not the, the, the first time uh, Japan has uh, repeatedly conveyed uh, such views to China. Uh, and yesterday, um, under my instruction, Vice Minister Akiba uh, summoned Ambassador Kon Shanyu of China uh, to convey Japan's uh, views. Uh, Japan will continue to carefully observe uh, developments around, surrounding Hong Kong and cooperate with other countries and address the situation in an appropriate manner. Another question. Follow-up question. A super city bill. A surveillance society is a concern at point. Surveillance society, when it comes to surveillance society, China is at the cutting edge using, utilizing IT uh, capabilities. In domestically, Japan might be influenced by this, and Japan may take China as a model uh, to perhaps uh, introduce a, a surveillance society in Japan. Uh, there is a concern in the Japanese society as well. What is your assessment? Uh, Minister Kitamura of uh, the Cabinet uh, uh, Office is the one who, should, who you should ask this question to. Hi. Any other question? If not, we'd like to conclude the press conference at this juncture. Thank you very much for your attendance.